Hit the button, Sam. Hit the button. Boom. Ooh. Blasts yeah. out of his bottle. Right yeah. onto the scene, into the fray. Yeah. He, he, uh, he, uh, he pops out immediately able to act uh, as fate would have it. Uh, he sees in front of him Aya, who just climbed out of a rock. And then a sort of a comical looking battle where little people are beating uh, uh, <laughs> looks like death dogs, two headed death dogs. And uh, little people are beating uh, uh, <laughs> Dwarfadil to death. He's, he's prone and they're uh, whacking him with their sickles. Um, looks like Horus on a rhinoceros is busy uh, gouging all these people. And, uh, and yeah, so we're going to start with Dragul, who needs to roll, and then it'll be Ul's turn. I guess, okay, so Dragul has been bitten twice by this, this one devil dog. The death dog, yes. The death dog, both, has... both faces have bitten him. Uh, for 12 damage? Correct, total of 12. Right, taken down, and a poisonous disease goes starts to move through him. So I've got a 50-50 chance here. All right, you succeed. You're not poisoned by one bite, but the other one also bites at you. Huh. You're not poisoned at all. You know, maybe you have some. You know, maybe you have. Uh, maybe it only affects humans. We we don't really know. Uh, but, ooh, you're up. Cool. Uh, Ul's gonna fly up 30 feet in the air. So he'll fly up 30 feet in the air, and then he'll blast, uh, the dog and, uh, the two dogs on either side of, uh, Jay. All right, go ahead and roll it. Uh, first one will be on the one on the left. Gotta pull up these dogs. All right, the one on the left is the yep. first one. Okay, that certainly hits. 13. And uh, that guy dies. Out of here. And then you hit the one on the right? Yeah. Okay, that one also hits. Go ahead and roll damage. 10 plus Genie's uh, Wrath, uh, which just adds uh, 4. I don't know why there's a negative 1. Okay. Why is it? So it's 4 bludgeoning. Okay, and uh, does that push him? Does that push uh, him? Yeah, uh, I push him 10 feet, but then I have pressure because of the bludgeoning, so it's going to push him 15 feet away. Okay, uh, we'll just push him that direction next to Tootsie. Yep, and uh, we'll, that will end Ghoul's turn. All right, uh, you hear a cackling in the woods, and you see some vines start growing up in this square. It seems to look like a thorny seed pod. You don't really know what it is. But, uh... Let's see. The, uh, hag is going to go invisible. She disappears from view. Oof. And uh, that's uh, nothing's nothing's gonna happen surprisingly. So go ahead, Vendrick. What do you do? All right, uh, Vendrick. Can I make a quick check at this seed pod thing? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Maybe can I make a, like uh, a nature. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and roll it. Well, nature or arcana. He's trying to discern what this is. Oh yeah. They're both the same. Ooh. Okay, nature. You know that this isn't fully... Tell you, you know that this isn't uh, totally natural. It's just in the flavor of... Uh, this This is certainly some form of magic that, uh, that this hag has. And while you don't know exactly what's happening, you know that... Uh, also roll an arcana with advantage, certainly. Okay. 
Okay, you've never seen vines like this before? It is used in a sort of summoning ritual, and you can actually discern that these vines are sort of in a... Uh, uh, it, it's growing into a humanoid shape, and it's growing very quickly. Okay. With, with that arcana check, can I maybe think that if I... If I somehow alight this thing with fire, it may not work, or it may disrupt it in some way? It certainly wouldn't help it. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I know what I'm gonna do. So, I'm still in Blade Song. I'm gonna stand up. Oop. I'm going to step over one. I've used half my movement, which I have at this point, 50 foot of movement. Okay. Because I'm long stridered and blade song. Um, I'm going to bonus action, uh, put my hand out towards Dwarfadil and pull him uh, to this square away from the foes. Ooh. Uh, Probably good for him. Which square was it? Uh, this one. Okay. And then... I'm going to take an attack. Let's see, which one of these do I actually want to do? I still want to deal with these guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to look at the range of this. I think I, I am a little worried about this this thing summoning up. So uh Venric like whips himself up, pulls Dwarfadil away, and then he is going to cast uh Burning Hands. Okay. Uh in that direction at the the thing. And he's not gonna hit Dwarfadil. It's unfortunately it's the only thing I'm going to hit. Okay. Uh, but I'd rather you know, throw, throw a burning hands that way. All right, go ahead and roll damage. Okay, I'm going to pop it at second level. Okay. Uh, for 20 damage. 20 damage. This thing is on fire. It's not totally dead, uh, but it is... Uh, you certainly fucked it up. It <laughs> is... Uh, it's, uh, like, certainly parts of it are writhing, and it's... Uh, you know, burning away somewhat. It is effective. Right. It is effective. That's good. That's basically the goal. I want to try and stop this in some way. All right. Or at least slow it down. Sure. Here, I'm going to do that little thing. Uh, because that actually is important if some if I have time. Okay, anyway. Uh, that is it for Vendrick. He does not have any other actions he can do. Okay. It is uh, Redcap's turn. Redcap... Sorry, Vendrick, but they're going to do the same combo to you again. They're going to try to uh, solid kick you, this top right. guy right here. Uh, for 15, strength. strength save. You save, no problem save at it. all. And uh, let's see. They, uh, they're they both just going to attack you twice. All right. Oops, I clicked that incorrectly. Sickle. Oof. oof a doof -a. Um... I think Venric is going to cast. Yeah, I think I am going to cast shield, um, okay. which is only going to stop one of those attacks. Um, the okay. crit will hit me irregardless. Sure. And so you have plus <laughs> five after that. Yeah. So I have okay. right now I have twenty five AC. Oof! That is a the high rolls for this guy. Yeah. Um, but that's, right. that's okay. I think a total of twenty six to you. All right. Jacob Kane, this sickle, this guy attacks you twice. Certainly one is a miss. Uh, the Which first one hits. Hit yep, 23 hits. Okay, for 10 damage. All right. Uh, Tootsie, yeah, you're going to take a double hit. 
Is it Tootsie or Dragul? Sorry, Dragul, Dragul. A 23 and a 15 from this guy right here. Uh, the 23 will hit. All right. For only five. And then, uh, of course, Horus, you're going to be attacked as well. I don't think he can kick you because you're mounted, right? So you can't be force prone. Is that the case? Um, I, he, I think he falls off the mount if he's force prone. Yeah, but he, I mean, it's but a, a rhino's small pretty big. Creature, right? Yeah, it's I'm gonna say this guy can't kick large. you off. He he doesn't have that ability. So he's gonna, just gonna get to kick the rhino over. <laughs> and he's tickling it at me and not the rhino, right? Uh, that is correct. Okay, those are both right. going to miss. Okay, the bold here. Where's the bold? I think that's all of them. Uh, Jacob Kane, you're up. All right. Jacob Kane, wielding perfection, raises the blade at the sickle wielding red hat in front of him and strikes. Hell yeah. Oh, roll that damage. Boom. For 11 All slashing. Right. How do you want to do it? Um, I just want to lop his head off, snicker snack him. Yeah, <laughs> snicker snack, classic. Head rolls, still in its red cap. He then, did. then uh, I will move over between this poison dog, two-headed death dog, and uh, dwarf Adil, and I will try to punch that dog square in one of its heads. Very noble. Do it. Uh, that actually does hit. All right. <laughs> Punched right in the snout. <laughs> Ten. Okay. Are you doing anything to that? Um. No, I'm not going to do anything to that. I will then use uh, my Vow of Enmity as a bonus action. And I'll I'll just... I'll say it to uh, the dog I punched in the face. <laughs> just, uh, I will strike down upon thee, dude, with great vengeance and furious anger. Any dude who attempts to poison and destroy my bros. And you will know my name is Samurai Jake when I lay my vengeance upon thee, dude. And uh, that's... The, ear... the dog's ears, like, goes back and he actually cowers a little bit. And then he realizes he's in a battle and uh, snarls and growls back at you. Well, uh, that's so, that's uh... that's my action economy, but I'll have advantage against that dog. Okay. Right on. <laughs> Dragul, what do you do? All right. Uh, I think Dragul, first off, uh, some flaming wings are going to erupt from his back as he casts a Shardalon Stride, Ooh. Uh, granting him immunity from uh, provoking attacks of opportunity and dealing its thing to everything he moves across. So he is going to move five... 10, 15, I think. I believe in you, Samurai Jake. You'll be able to take care of this. So everybody in this vicinity, including this plant, needs to make a dex roll, including Jake and Tootsie as well. Okay. Yeah, I got evasion. I'm trying to look at this. A dex save. Yeah, it's just a little Oh, basic yeah. Okay, I damage. see. Okay, so it looks like three dogs will be making dex saves. I didn't make it, but I'll take half damage. Okay, so... Actually, um, I, I just wanted to say, I'm pretty sure it's just the D6. I don't think there is a DC. The spell save DC... Wait, hold on. See, it, it doesn't say... It just says it takes a D6 of fire. It doesn't say roll for dex. Uh -oh. oh, for some reason I thought it did. Okay, so everybody takes a D6. Dun dun dun. Okay, dun, dun. sounds good. Uh, Let me just roll. should I just roll one and everybody takes it, or should I roll for everybody? I guess. Yeah, sure. Roll one. All right. That's less fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. that's, that's, that's maybe significantly that's, less. Oh, oh, that's maybe not worth worth a third level spell slot. Sh should, should I roll we, for everybody? Should we roll it for everybody? Yeah. You want to call this the death dog here? Yeah, let's it's let's, fun let's to do roll. that. Yeah, let yeah, let's roll. Go, right. go for it. Red cap. All right. 
Samurai Jake. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe that it should have been track. one, huh? Uh, oh, no. Death Dog. Death Dog. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, and the, the plant thing. Plant. Oh plant. yeah, yeah. Roll a plant. Wow. Nice. nice. Yeah. Okay. Give me a second to mark this HP down. All right. Plant thing is looking bad. It is burning. Let's add a little bit more flames to that. That's not good. All right, that was a bonus action. Uh, Dragul is going to hit this death dog with, oops, the broken short sword. He does get unreliable greatness. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Roll it. 12, 22 damage. Roger. All right. And in fact, if it's still up, he's going to proc his um, favored foe. Okay. Because it's going to roll twice as well uh, for the critical. Go ahead. Oh, you know what? I, I already did. It already, it already, I accidentally. I see that right on. on there, the five and the two. Right. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's favor food already. Uh, but he is going to attack a second time. No unreliable greatness. That hits. Okay. Is it still up? The dog is now dead. You cleave it in two. And it falls apart in two halves. All right. Tootsie, I believe, takes the dodge action because I didn't give her a uh, command. Okay. And that is Dragul's turn. Sounds good. Aya, what do you see? Well, I see a lot of things going on. I have a quick question. Go ahead. Based on based on the verbiage of Moonbeam, mm -hmm. um, so I can move it sixty feet as an action. And it says specifically when a creature enters its spell area for the first time or starts its turn there, it's engulfed in go go ghostly flames. Whatever. Um, I want to know that <coughs> if I move it sixty feet, is it going to do damage to everything that I'm passing it over? Hmm. It shouldn't, based off of uh, previous bird law rulings. Okay, because well, if it, that's the case, that's the case. Because it is entering the creek, like it, like the creature is entering it for the first no, time. Are you asking no, if the, you would have the to draw? The creature draw wouldn't be entering it. The the light would be entering the creature's space. Like the entering a entering a space involves like voluntary movement from a creature. Or like it being shoved in. Yeah, right. Well, no, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, no, no, I don't think it being shoved being in counts. Shoved in. in would count for starting its turn there, but not for entering. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out the most advantageous point to move this. Technically, Vendrick, because there is two attacking him. But there's more over here. But I could only get one. We've yeah, got pick one. We've 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 got some folks in the center. If you center it on Tootsie, it'll touch three of those guys and vaporize Tootsie. I, it will it it's only a ten foot square. Yeah. Uh we, we've I got, got the two center. guys near me who are who are pretty easy to hit without hitting nobody else i guess remember we're still rocking the clock right DM? yeah yeah we're trying to speed it up okay um then what i'll do is as an action i'm gonna move moonbeam over to help vendrick keeping it out of vendrick's way i rolled it as a 
level five spell last time when I cast it. So let me get the damage for you right there for them. Um, cast it at level five, submit. So 19, they have to make a DC 16 save. Okay. Or take half. Let's and see, then DC, at, what kind of a save is it? It is a constitution Con save. Oh wow, does the hag count as a shape changer? Uh no. no. She is a uh it was an it's an illusion. Yeah, okay. Okay, so one of them takes nine, the other one takes nineteen. Okay. Sounds good. Um well, one of them is now dead. Top guy. Gets uh smited by the moon. All right, as uh, what I'm going to do as my bonus action, because I did not cast a spell this turn, um, and this is not a concentration spell, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon as a bonus action. Okay. And I'm going to pop uh, Spiritual Moonbeam Weapon. Moonbeam says concentration on the spell description you posted. Yes, Moonbeam is a concentration spell that does not oh, mean I can't oh, cast another sorry. spell. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Sorry. Hey, you're good. Um, for God's sake, let me drag it out. As I'm going, why can't I drag it out now? Come on, okay. weapon. Come on, weapon. As Come on, I'm, weapon. I'm gonna drag. Jasmine's curse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag the uh, spiritual weapon right there. As okay. I'm, and it's going to hit uh, the. I'm gonna have it hit uh, the red cap that is attacking um, Jacob Kane. Got it. Go ahead and roll. Spiritual weapon. 26. 26. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. I don't know why um, I'm noted. rolling a disadvantage. As, as a reaction, the spiritual weapon glows a blue frost and, and deals the infused strikes damage. Just the six. For, okay. Roger. For Flavor-wise, it looks like Wound, if anybody has seen Wound before. All right. Is that turn, Aya? That's turn. All right. Snarling and barking, the dogs of war come out here. Uh, this one... Let's see. Where is he going to do? He's going to... He's going to move... Well, I guess Tootsie's right there. So he's going to bite twice at Tootsie. Oh. Bite... Oh my gosh. Bite and bite. Um, let's see. Tootsie's AC is 18. So both of those are going to hit. All right. And can Tootsie be poisoned? Uh, well, she, uh, she's not immune to disease, and I don't believe she's immune to poison. All right. Go ahead and roll those two uh, con saves. She can be immune to poison, but she is not the poison Drake form. Roger. Um, so, con save is f 15. Okay. So, plus two. So, a nine and a 19. Okay, so one of them, one of them poisons you. So, he feels, uh, uh, pretty sick, actually. Um, so, let's see. I think. Do you have to roll it now? I think. Uh, do you have to roll the the HP reduction now? I believe it's just one d ten. It then, says every twenty four hours they have. It must repeat the saving throw every twenty four hours. So. Reducing its maximum hit points by five on a failure. So technically, that effect doesn't happen until 24 hours have passed. Yeah. All yeah. right, Tootsie, so you've got a mild cough right now, uh, <laughs> but there's a, you know, the other one pivots around, which I assume would provoke a opportunity attack from Tootsie. Is, is it moving? It moved away from you already. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, Tootsie will attack it uh, at disadvantage. Oh, no. no. Why Tootsie do you have disadvantage? No, no, no. Because she's poisoned. I see. 
Uh, did, it, did Tootsie already use her reaction your, to... Tootsie already yeah. used her reaction to Frost the, uh, I see. the mace. Okay. So. Well, there's two bites of Jacob Kane. Jacob yeah, Kane takes 22. the second one. All right, for six Wait, piercing. Wait, uh, 22? What's, uh... I'm 21. Uh, what's your AC? 21, uh, Okay, so, uh, definitely popping, um, Gift of the Metallic Dragon on Jacob Kane to give him, uh, AC plus his proficiency. As the molten wings that Dragul has lifts over him and your hair catches fire slightly. Oh, cool. Well, the, 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 the teeth just clank right on off. Uh, of this metallic wing. Uh, Whoa, dude. That's... Jacob Kane is totally safe. Uh, that's the dogs' turn. Uh, Dwarfadil, you're on the ground. You've been uh, brutalized by these little people. And uh, you're trying to... You're sort of... You're also... Aren't you uh, tripping out as well? <laughs> uh, Yeah, a little bit. A little okay. bit. Uh... Dorfidel's kind of confused about what's going on. So. He's going to do what any confused person would do. Get up. And just start hitting dogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make the attack? Wait. Yeah, you why do you have a red X? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold on a second. I am. Get this up clicking thing. Sorry about that. And just start hitting. Oh, come on. Fucking tutorials are popping up. I'll turn I don't it need off tutorial. We don't need. You're you you've stood up. Okay. All right. Stood up. And nope. Second one does hit. All right, that's gonna be for one slashing damage. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yes, man. Hey, yeah man. man. I'm helping, man. Take that, you <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Boris <laughs> the Bold. Last but not least, you sit atop this rhino, completely unscathed. What do you do? First of all, I want to offer words of encouragement to Dwarf I say, good job, buddy. You're contributing. Uh, <laughs> and then. Dorfadil definitely holds a managerial position. Yeah. I'm going to use my bonus action to transfer my Hunter's Mark to this guy since he's still alive. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to I'm gonna try to thwack him with my Warhammer. Ooh, which I bet hits. You certainly hit. All right. Or I'm gonna have to change my name. For seventeen. Holy. Okay. He's Noted. Still He's up. still up though. All right. Well, I'll just fucking do it again. <laughs> do it again. I'll fucking do it again. Hey, twenty-one. You hit again. All right. For another fifteen. Okay. Noted. Oh man, he's still up then, huh? All right, he's rhinos. Rhino's gonna gore his bitch ass. <laughs> okay. Get him, Rhino. Oh. I love that it's bludgeoning. Uh, <laughs> it it uh the Rhino oh, why you know, he shakes his head and he goes for it right past his shoulder. That's alright, you'll get him next time. Um but other than that, yeah, that's all I'm that's all I'm doing. I'm just killing red caps over here. Alright. You uh, you see this thing start to uh, crack a little bit. It looks like something's about to emerge. Ooh, your turn. Yeah, so that thing's cracking in its plants. It is. Cool, 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 cool. Um, it's gonna fly thirty feet more up in the air. Okay. Um, and then he's gonna create bonfire underneath of it. Underneath of it? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. there's a big old pile of vines, right? Oh, yeah. So yeah, he's yeah. just going to ignite it. 
Okay, create bonfire. I haven't seen this ability in years. Good deal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cantrip's coming in useful here, boys. Yeah, we're Is there any boys. DC or like what? Yeah, what? yeah it does. Uh, it's a for, deck uh, save. God. Well, what's um? What is the deck oh. save for the immobile? Uh, yeah, so how does this? He does three d eight of uh, fire. Three d eight. Okay, you roll that. Uh, may surprise you. Um, actually, yeah. I'm gonna change that to three. There we go. Now I've updated the cream on fire. Fifteen. All right. As this thing starts to crack open magically, you start to see uh, a humanoid shape take uh, a humanoid take shape. Uh, the uh, the bonfire just the inferno gets created directly underneath of this, totally engulfing it in flames, and. Um, uh, you get the feeling that this was at the last possible second and you hear an extremely loud ear piercing scream that must, the sound must travel for miles. Um, everything goes totally quiet all of a sudden. Basically everybody puts their hands over their ears, but uh, whatever that, whatever was in there is totally engulfed in flames and falls to its knees and then falls into a pile of ash. So we'll just it. gonna uh, maintain that concentration. Okay. Let's just be make sure it stays dead. Okay. Uh, as that's it for Ool. All right. All right. Work well. Ool. What'd you yeah, say? Yeah. I said good work, Ool. Thumbs up. Ool will nod his head. All right. Hag, All right. I believe. Yes, the hag appears. If I can click on it. Oops, I put Oop. that on the wrong layer. Oofa doofa. Oofa doofa. What have I done? All right, there we go. The hag over here. Casts, uh, casts a pretty good spell, I think. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna cast, uh, you're gonna cast Lightning Bolt. All right. And I believe it just goes straight out, yeah? Yeah, it's just a Yeah, where's your line. line? Okay. Is it just straight out from the hag? Yeah, so you you take um, you all just right. Do it straight, basically. All right. Like well, I, however else. I think what we're gonna do here is uh, let me get that line out. Instant. There we go. I think I think that lightning bolt is gonna do this. Oh god. It's gosh. gonna pass through Jacob Kane and Dwarfadil, but also this death dog right here. All right, deck save don't fail All right, me now. Saves. All right. Damn it. Oof. Uh, I don't think that passes. No, you but at least I'll, I was going to say I will take half, though. I'm just hoping to take none. Okay. The dog certainly takes the damage. And uh, Dwarfdo, we need you also to roll a deck save. One second. I'll take 14. Oh. Oh. Dwarf, no, you are electrocuted to pieces, as is this dog. Jacob's sitting at like a less than a third of his health. Okay. The, uh, the, let's see, the hag runs into the woods. Let's see. Let me make sure that she can do this. Nope. She had to I don't move. have any reaction ones. Let's see. I'm not sure. It does, oh, that counts as an action. Okay, so okay, so she just runs off into the woods a little bit. Uh, and that's the end of her turn. Vendrick, you're up. Ooh, uh, Vendrick's a little concerned. 
He does want to deal with that hag. I have a feeling jumping her ass is probably the smartest thing to do. All right. Just trying to think. Well, I would have seen her go that direction. He also wants to worry about the party, too. I don't know. They seem like they got it pretty good. Um, if you look towards the party, you see that... Dragul is turning her direction. Okay. If if you can see where I'm concentrating, you'll see my hand drifting in that direction as well, because I plan on moving it that way. Okay, I got an idea. Um, I think that what I'm going to do. Shit, I thought I knew what I was going to do, and now I'm not. You can do it. Okay. Um, I am going to cast. Uh, actually, no. I'm, I'm going to attack this dude in front of me. That's what okay. I'm going to swing one, one strike at him. This is just a normal attack. Okay. That certainly hits. So 14. 14. Okay. Roger. Uh, and I assume he is not down. He is still up. All right. Then I'm going to cast a cantrip uh, as Ooh. my second, because Blade Singers can use a cantrip in place of an attack roll. Just in case, I'm going to shocking grasp him, which I assume misses. Uh, yes, that does miss. All right, so swing a shocking grasp, miss, and then bonus action. I am going to telekinetically push him. Oh, how far? Okay. Uh, he needs to make a strength, a strength save. save. Right. 17. Oh, nice. Okay, okay he, he failed. pushed back five feet. Sweet, he's still in it. Okay. And then I assume that's where you wanted him to go. Yes. And then Vendrick is hauling ass over here. Okay. Are you immune to opportunity attacks? Uh, no, he's, he's away from me. He has a 10 foot reach with his oh. sickle. Sickle has a 10 foot reach. I am not. Okay, well, he's going to attack you then. Uh, 23 will hit. Okay, so for 12. All right. Here. Go. All right. And with that, I am done. Okay. All right, we're going to start with this guy since he's inside Moonbeam. Does that, uh, what, yeah. what does that do? He starts his turn in this square? He starts his turn in that square, so he takes uh, the full damage of the spell. Roll it for me. Uh, let me roll it. It's going to be Moonbeam, level five. Submit. 44 damage. Okay, this guy <laughs> immediately catches on Generate. fire and falls to his knees and goes, <laughs> there's basically nothing left. Uh, Damn, he doesn't but, get a save? That's except for Ash. <laughs> oh, well, the wait, save is he? 16, but okay, it, okay, it's going to be 22 mind. damage. Okay, give me a second. Let's see. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, oh okay. shit. Then never mind. No. Let's pretend that didn't happen. He does take damage. Uh, it's 22, right? Yes. he's He is up, but uh, oh, there's, there's not much. There's not much left. Uh -huh. Let's say that there. Now, like let's see. He runs a uh, right here, and uh, gives you a gives you a two wax. Actually, let's see. He can kick with his bonus action, so he's going to give you a solid kick. And you must pass a DC fifteen strength. Oh me? Fuck. You okay. Must, yes. Um. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh shit! Nice. I think you, I think you're still up. So he gives you the old sickle, and nice. I guess both are gonna miss. Yeah. All right, Jacob Kane, you get kicked as well with a solid kick, so you must pass a 15. All right. I'm prone. Oof. Okay. 
And then this he's guy uh, got advantage. He stands over you. He doesn't get to stand over too many people. Uh, but only 16 at his highest. Uh, that's a miss. Okay, you roll side to side as the sickle lands on either side of you. Uh, final one. Uh, let's see. This guy, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna swing at a uh, old Horus. And probably miss again. Or is invincible those, up on his. Those, uh, those are both gonna miss me. Totally invincible. All right. I just, I just, I, just uh, I, I nonchalantly, like, like, knock his sickle away with my shield. Be gone, foul creature. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Jacob, you're up. Jacob Kane stands up, brandishes perfection, takes a slice mm -hmm. at this sickle wielding psycho. That's a plus three, because Perfection's at plus three currently. Okay. I think hits. So that's a 16 total? Yeah. Then yes, that is a hit. All right, I'm also going to... Well, I'll roll damage, but I'm going to make that a stunning strike. So he's got to make a con save. Which he fails, he's, so he's stunned. stunned. Okay. Ooh. Then I will... Uh, I'm going to punch at the dog... And also make it a stunning strike, if, if assuming nice. it connects. I think it does. Uh, yes, it does. So right, this guy is save. also... You have two guys stunned now. Uh, oh, I got to roll the damage for the unarmed strike. So the dog takes eight damage. And then um, I will spend a key point to double unarmed strike the, the red cap. All right, go ahead. Oh. All right. Well, they're auto. They're auto hits, right? Uh, no, they're crits? they're they're advantage. So that first one is that's the first punch for the twenty five, and then I just toggle advantage on for the second one is a twenty three. So I think they both hit. Well, the you kill him with the very first one. Oh. So I don't know if that means can that I, you want to switch to it. Okay, yeah, I was gonna target. say, can I throw the other one at the dog then? Of course. Of and course. Do I need to reroll or keep keep the roll? Uh. I say just keep it. It's at advantage, right? 23? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll that. Nine more bludgeoning damage at the dog. All right. Got it. The uh, the red cap, you sock him right in the jaw, and he dies. Dragul. Uh, J Jacob Kane, you get the f feel like there's a really, really hot energy coming off of Dragul, and you feel like you maybe don't want to be standing next to him at the end of your turn. Oh, um... Are you giving me a chance to move? Is that what you're saying? I mean, that's that's up to you and DM. If DM allows it, I will. Go ahead. Uh, do I get the feeling I should drag <laughs> our friend here? No, it's only within five feet. It's only within five feet? Well, I'll just move that much movement then okay all right Drogul, go ahead all right give me just sorry give me just half a second it's nine o'clock so i need to make sure i got katie's pill right here half a second my apologies it won't take just should a we come back to you no no it'll take just a second and he's stealing katie's medicine again Selling it on the black market. Hmm. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. Go ahead. Your turn. All right. Uh, Dragul is going to use the Chandelion Stride. He can move 55 feet. So he's right. gonna. 10, 15, 20, 25, 50, 55 over here. And I'm afraid our. our how Vendrick and the Hag will take D6 damage. Okay, here's for go Vendrick. ahead and roll it. And here's for the Hag. Roger. Um, and then he is going to come in swinging with the broken sword. Okay. And you have it. So there is unreliable greatness so, no. a 
25. That hits. Ooh, I didn't even put the attack modifier on there. Uh, he's gonna pop a favored foe on uh on the hag on the hag actually hmm. yeah he'll pop he'll pop favorite foe on it uh um so he'll deal his damage and also five cold as it glows blue Okay. Not the eight. Sorry about that. Understood. So Twenty-two. Yeah, I assume you're going to attack again. Yes. Go ahead. Still good. Twenty-nine. Crit. Roll that. Right. So, 19. 19. Uh, all right. And then as a bonus action, he'll call the Tootsie attack. And Tootsie will fly over here. And this dog is stunned, yes? Correct. Yep. Uh, and that grants advantage? Yep. Yep. All right. Tootsie is poisoned, so this is regular. For, oops, wrong thing. Only 13. That still hits. All right. For nine damage. Okay. That is noted. Um, is that turn? And she'll move right here. And Sounds that good. will be turn. Perfect. Aya, what do you do? You've got this Yeet. little guy in front of you. I, I got the little guy in front of me. As I'm... Hmm. I want to help out with the... With the hag. Okay. As a action, I'm going to move the moonbeam over in front of uh, on top of this guy here mm -hmm. and i'm gonna burn him with it all right go ahead and roll doesn't that happen when he starts his turn though it's when he starts his turn or when a creature enters it for the first time but that's not but he hasn't it's... entered it uh, does... okay then i guess it'll hit him next round i assume It'll be when it gets back to his turn. Which is fine, because he can't do anything until it yeah. becomes his turn, so... He's it's not a bad not thing to make do. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As a bonus action, I'm going to have the spiritual weapon um, move to right here, and it's going to hit the death dog. Okay. Go ahead and roll that. With advantage. Nice. Like 12 million spells. Oh, yeah. You you hit this death dog. Okay. And it does uh, five force damage. Okay. Uh, you hit this death dog. He's looking really sad. You know, you don't want to have sympathy for these things because they're vicious and awful. But, uh, you know, and he's not looking I... good. I will move right there, not provoking an attack of opportunity. Okay, sounds good. And Death that, ends, that ends me. Sure. Death Dog's turn comes and goes. Uh, I assume he is no longer stunned? Uh, he, unstun stunned? he unstuns at the end of my next turn. I see. Okay. Dwarfadil. Get his ass. Get his ass, Dwarfadil. Oh, yeah, Dwarfadil. Dwarfadil is going to do a, a dick move to save himself like all hippies do. Uh, he is going to move slightly and then... Oh, that... there it goes. Thunder wave. Okay, DC 16. Oh, uh... god damn it. Fucking <laughs> shit-ass rolls. 
We love a good Thunder Wave spell. Same. Is that a charisma? Is that right? Constitution. 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 My bad. Gonna hit the square, sorry. including Tootsie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he death, just hits Tootsie needlessly. <laughs> I like it. Uh, let's see. This guy up top, right though, he's got a roll. Uh, con. He takes damage on a failed save. Two d eight. You want to roll it? Uh, it's three. Yeah, it rolled already. It's three. And, oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> that's terrible. It's half as much on a. It's half as much on a pass. So is it one damage or two damage? I, I don't care. Well, I was asking. This, this matters. I think it, rolls, I think it float. I think it uh, rounds down, right? Floors. It rounds, it down. rounds up because Dorfadil uh, sacrificed Tootsie. Well, Dorfadil did it. summon <laughs> Santa, I believe. Bird loss. Yeah. I think. I think. I think Tootsie can take the one damage. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tootsie takes one. Okay, they all they're all gonna take one damage it looks like. No, the red cap, the red cap takes three. Tootsie's poisoned. Oh wait, so red cap needs... does take three. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh Tootsie's poisoned, so she needs to roll another D twenty. Go ahead. Because she needs disadvantage. So she actually does take three damage. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Horace, in front of you, you see this red cap, eyes roll back plops down oh damn it would have taken damage okay it's fine. uh dog oh. is still up but oh, uh dwarf it is they still your turn, turn. Uh, they get turn pushed 10 feet away oh oh yeah the body goes flying oh, yeah. and tootsie and the uh, dog doggo <laughs> okay well the doggo passed oh that's true so oh. he's still there i guess but Horace, you're triumphant. Hell yeah. Bodies all around I, you. What do you do? Actually, he really gets pushed as well. Yeah, everything no, gets gonna, pushed. Yeah. Okay, gonna, yeah, he is pushed. Same. He is pushed. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. It says on a successful save, the creature takes half and isn't pushed. And, okay, yes. he's back then. Yeah. We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> back and forth. All right, Horace, it's actually your turn now. This dog. Ah, oh, man. As much as I want to go after this hag. I mean, I guess I can. All right, my my rhino is gonna dash. Okay. Use its action to dash. So that, because it has a movement speed of forty. So if it goes, if it dashes, it can definitely get me up here with this hag. Uh, but that is its action because it dashed. Okay. So I can't. This whole fight, I've just wanted to charge somebody with my rhino, and I haven't had the opportunity. <laughs> but that's. It looks like you charged into the tree. Yeah, I charged it. I, I will say for flavor, I charge into this tree. Um, I will use my bonus action to put my hunter's mark on the hag. Okay. And I'm going to. Does she look fucked up at all, or does she look mm, like she's been hurt? She don't look that fucked up. I believe. She don't um, look that. Yeah, she don't look that fucked up. Oh well. Plus, I already used my bonus action, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna thwack her twice with my warhammer. Say so fuck off. Lady, oh, I ooh, I'm, I must say that she deftly jives and dodges, and those hammers just kind it's of cause, whiff. It's because I'm sort of a little off put by slamming into that tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll I'll grimace at her menacingly, and uh, and that's a, that's about it. All right. Cool. You're up. How is everyone in here looking right now? Uh, I mean, we've Fenris. been in a battle. Yeah, Venner's rough, but not like. Well, I meant like everyone right in the like the camp area. Horrible. Okay. Yeah, they need some. They need some heals. I'm gonna cast scatter. Uh, oh no, hang on. I'll descend down. Can I do it? Can I think about it? Let's see, if I move here... So I'm 30 feet up. I'm just shuffling people around. Oh, that's a cool spell. 
I guess it's a six level spell. Yeah. Damn. So, if I'm 30 feet up, I can hit Rachel. The only one I can hit everyone. I don't, I'm good. Yeah, no. We're Where are scattered. you trying to move them to? So I'm going to TP everyone here. Uh, we'll take some pockets in and then start. And uh, we're all going to... We're all... Uh, no, it's 30 feet. Uh, where is it again? Da -da -da. You teleport each affected target to an unoccupied space that you can see within 120 feet of you. So I have to be 30 feet within oh. me. It says within range, yeah. So yeah, you can... but then I can move them 120 feet that I can see yeah. from there. Okay, yeah. where are you moving everybody to? Uh, this side of the river. <laughs> Which side? To the right side of this one right here. Over here at this ledge. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess Tootsie will make the wisdom spell save. Wait, uh, on this side, specifically right here, towards the southern portion Wisdom's of it. Saving who's, through. who's being moved? Tootsie does not make it. Everyone. Unwilling Everyone. creature. Everybody. So I uh, guess so everybody goes down here? I think I can only do I don't make it, actually. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's mm -hmm. going to be Data, Rachel, um, Samurai Jake, and Dragul. No, Tootsie. Uh, Let's see, Dragul switch teams. <laughs> All here? <laughs> and then Samurai Drake will also TP over too. Uh, I, pa I passed through. He's passed resisting. Oh, I want to kill that damn dog. <laughs> it tried to kill my bro. It tried to poison <laughs> and destroy my bros. We're all just like, all right. Got it. All right. That's uh, roll. What? Okay. Okay. just counting. Dude. Tootsie licks Aya's elbow in confusion. Okay. So that's it for all, yeah. Pag okay. Time. Are you, wait, are you licking the left side or the right side? Uh, I guess it would be the right side. Okay. Because I imagine she's on your right. All right. This hag over here. <clears throat> Surrounded by a rhino, a paladin, uh, a, a, an old man who's a hunter, and a dragon-like creature. Let's see, who's she going to do this to? All right, Horus. She, she kind of cackles and smiles a little bit and reaches up and touches you. Oh no, good touch or bad touch? This is a bad, this bad, is a bad touch. touch. This is a real oh, no. bad touch. I this be... is a death touch. Oh no. Let's see. Uh, now point curse. to the doll where he, where he cut you. You succeed on a wisdom save. Ooh. And he, you need to succeed at a, a DC 16. Oh, she picked the pally save. Mm. Mm. You're gonna be okay, Broyo. You got Maybe. this, Broyo. Wisdom. Oh. I'm not. Oh, oh no! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. You, the, uh... Even with my plus six and my aura, I still only got a 12. <laughs> oh, no. Right. So He's going to choose the, uh... The target must make a wisdom saving throw at the start of each turn. If it fails, it wastes its action that turn doing nothing. That's the big oof. Ooh. And uh, while the target is cursed, your attacks and spells deal an extra 1d8. Oh, that's not going to matter. Um, and uh, yeah, this is uh, attacks or spells. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, let's what? see. Too bad. Well, there we go. I guess that's What, what are the, what are the odds of you rolling two over and over and over again? Probably no, true. Probably not great. And then, uh, let's see. He did that. And, uh, well, she's got to try to run, right? Yeah. I feel like it. Yeah, what's she got to do? She's she's running off into the, into the woods. Obviously, that provokes from everybody. Everybody provokes. Yeah. All right. Oh, Get shit, her. I have a clear line of sight. Can I go first? 
You did it. 21. Hey. 26. <laughs> Roll your damage, you guys. Um. All right, so I did a total of uh, 12. Okay. Okay. Struggle, you also hit. Uh, ignore the uh, crits. That just happened because I had Roger. Yeah. And then 15. Okay. Noted. She she uh, certainly didn't like that. Uh, Vendrick. All right. We have a lot of interesting things that in theory I can do. Are these woods, are they uh, bad terrain? They uh, certainly aren't easy to get through, but you know oh, it's yeah. getting no. thick. Oh no, Venric, can I make an Arcana check to see what she did, or or is that something that's kind of implied, like when my character? Uh, yeah, roll a roll an Arcana check. See what she did. You know that she she cursed. Oh, yeah, she you cursed him. He knows it. He goes, Horish, lean down, uh, and he's gonna reach up to Horus. Uh, sort of carve out some magical runes in the air before touching him and casting remove curse. <laughs> oh, okay. good touch. That's a good yeah. touch. <laughs> That's a good touch. All right, you're no longer cursed, Taurus. You felt bad for a second, and then you're like, well, I feel better. Don't let me oh, yeah. down, boy. Uh, and then he is going to reach out to her with his uh, with that hand and pull, and hopefully telekinetically pull her at least five feet closer to them. Oh, that's badass. Okay. She's weirdly strong. Oh. Oh, damn. Yeah, she's, right, she oh. rebuffs it. Tackles right. loudly. Uh, he is going to actually, instead of going towards her, he's going to run kind of at an angle up here. Okay. okay. Uh, as he's like, you two, get him or get her got an idea okay uh, for sort of ducking through the trees uh and that is that is uh bender third cool uh this guy starts his turn in a in a in a moonbeam boom you don't even have to roll it immolates and then burns into ash and then falls and uh he crawls a little bit into the water but uh, alas he uh you know he he wastes away to nothing uh, the, the, water, the water takes his ashes away. It's Leaving only his red cap on this, uh, <laughs> cut on this rock. <laughs> uh, but Rachel, if you want to roll the damage, of course you can. But, uh, um, I was actually just going to say, so I read it. Um, I reread it. It's when a creature it enters it for the first time in a turn, not for the first time. So it would... So the damage—it doesn't matter now. The damage would have happened like on my turn. Okay. I really don't think. So. No, that's not what the bird law ruling is. I think the bird law ruling does say that you can push a creature into some spell effects, though. Yeah, no. I think you can't. Yeah. I think the main—the main thing is that you can't. They only—they only take the damage once per turn, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Well, it round. doesn't like double up. It's, it's, it's either or turn. is how we we yeah. sort of. Yeah. What what I misinterpreted was um was last turn when I moved it, he would have taken the damage when I moved it on top of him at the, like, because he was entering it for the first time on a turn. Yeah, well, like, so, if, so, he, if he was still yeah, alive, he wouldn't have taken damage again on the start of it. Well, I know the ruling says that, like, when you cast it and it comes out, that's not counting as entering it. Like, if, they, if they're in the space, you well, cast it and were... it comes out, that doesn't count as them entering it. I don't, we'll have to reread it, but I, I know we were talking about Spirit Guardian too, and there were some yeah, shenanigans where we were trying to yeah. run around and yeah, get I, people Yeah, I linked times. our, our yeah. ruling so on that it is via reply in Bird Law, but we can continue and look yeah. at it later. Yeah, let's save this for laughter. All right, Jacob All right. Kane runs Let's forward get... and he just starts uh, punching this punching dog. dog. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, I have advantage, so just to see if that's going to crit real quick. That's. I didn't. You didn't. But he still takes eight. damage. If he could howl, he would. But he can't. 
And I punch him again. Uh, oh, he falls over dead. Okay, cool. <laughs> he falls over dead. You look around. Dead enemies all about you. Uh, except you hear a commotion over here in the, the northwest. All right, Jacob uses his... Uh, his remaining 40 movement to run over there. And uh, can he see the hag at the moment? Mm. Or is there too much brush in the way? Mm, I would say there's... there's like, I, can, uh, I can't there's, do anything. I just want to know if he can see her. It's 60 feet away. I'd say there's too much brush. Okay. I see my two closest friends, mainly the big ass rhino, and that's where I conclude my turn. Okay. Wait, your two closest friends are the big ass rhino and Horus? Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> literally, they're the closest. That was meta game though. Like, he doesn't know that in game. Yeah, don't tell Horus. <laughs> this, this is all deep lore. All right, Dragul. All right, Dragul. I think. I was thinking about Entangle, but I think what Dragul is actually going to do is he's going to use his speed from a Shardalons to just roll through here. Uh, bad Train doesn't affect him because uh, Ranger. Sure. One gonna, D6? He's going to move over there. She's going to take one D6. All right. Ah. Uh, she looks a little uglier. He's going to do his attacks. Got to right. love it. That certainly hits. Roll damage. OK. OK. Uh, Tootsie is way too far to use the few strikes. Uh, but he will attack again. I did not mean to click that. My bad. That is okay. A 20? That does hit. It's funny because she rolled the same initiative. Yeah. Uh, that's going to do it, Dragul. Oh! Okay, uh, you cut her right down the back. Yep. Dragul runs around her, runs towards her, runs completely around her, and stabs her in the spine and forces her down into the muck of the river. She, uh, she, like, her body, like, quickly shrivels up into just, uh, a wisp. She already wasn't very full-looking, but, uh, shriveled and, and blackened. And that's battle Such over, you guys. With all evil. <sighs> uh, Dragul straightens himself, and then he's going to check her robes. Okay. Just in case there's anything that she had kind of secreted on her body. Go ahead and do an investigation. Okay. Do we lose somebody? I'm here. No. Lost well, me. Did I dis did I uh, disappear? I'm yeah. Hopefully I'm back. Oh. You are back. We hear Okay. You. Un unfortunately, uh, you don't find anything. Is all right. Uh, Dragul will uh, stop concentration on being on fire <laughs> and move back towards uh, towards the camp, nodding to Vendrick. Venric, he nods. He was he was fully ready to to do stuff, but since the the deed is done, he sheaths his weapon and, and walks over to the hag, or what remains of her. Um. And I know Dragul just examined. Like, what is left of her? I guess is probably what I should just ask flat out. Like, looking well, down. It's basically just uh, I don't. It's basically just a blackened, shriveled corpse. Uh, can I go Some ahead dirty and... dirty rags. Can I scalp her? Yes. 
All right, I'm gonna set a, I'm gonna set about scalping. Okay. <laughs> it's very easy. It just it, it basically you basically don't even really need the knife. It pulls away like some. He's a jerky. S- soggy, yeah, exactly. Soggy beef hmm. jerky. Soggy jerky. All right. Well, In fact, have... you look at it, you sort of go, I don't even know if this is gonna be acceptable. So it better be acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one Here, hag scalp. I, I and this is gonna sound much more gruesome. Okay. Than, uh, than what it's I intended. Except yeah, than I intended, but it is pretty gruesome. Uh, he's gonna open her eyes and see if she still has eyeballs. Oh. Um. But do you want there to be eyeballs out of game? He's going to, he, I mean, because if there are, he is going to take some hag eye. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hag yeah, eye. She'll, she'll still have eyeballs. Yeah, why not? Are you sure you don't want to collect the haggis? The haggis? No, the, I don't need the haggis. <laughs> um, and this one's probably bad anyway. Uh, a little but, filthy. Okay. Is there a, like, a, do I do a nature check? Uh, Do a, let's see. Oh. Uh, I will it's say survival, since you're harvesting right? something, I, do I, I don't know, would that be nature or I think it's I guess it's not animal handling. Oh, survival. survival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't get to use um, that one very much. Does it does it seem like things have slowed down a bit? Things like have, we can take our time. Let me say this. I will say this. That huge scream that came out of the plant. Yeah. Or I guess the creature within the plant made everything go extremely quiet um let's see i want dwarfadil and you vendrick and also jacob kane to do perception checks perception. all right damn he's vendrick's just a skill man he's good okay same with J- samurai jake our <clears throat> You guys realize uh, data as well. And dwarf- you guys data the the hair on the back of your neck stands up, and it's not because you're coming down. <laughs> you all get the feeling that you're being watched. Uh, Samurai Jake, with your twenty four, you actually see a glint of maybe someone's eye, uh, fairly off in the distance, looking at you. It's not within range for you to go out and engage but you're certainly you know you're being watched okay and and whoever it is uh in, in fact you know that there's multiple oh, um, and Vendrick, he's alert he's always on the lookout for danger um but uh but you're currently not under attack right now all right then i guess instead can we can we rhyme the clock back for us for a sec? Oh, Brad. What? I was oh, before say, you mean before I scalped her? Yeah, because basically, if, if we notice that like something's keeping an eye on us, I think Vendrick is going to recommend. Well, we if you I, if I grab deal. her and start start hacking, and you can yeah. tell me uh, to he, stop. He, he puts his hand on on your. Uh, on your hand, uh, I think we're being watched at the moment. We should probably call back and do this another time. Uh, do you mind? And he kind of gestures for the head, basically like asking for it. Did, is the head decapitated at this point? Well, he is going to decapitate it so you can scalp it later and he can get the eyes <laughs> later if that's what it is. Do you think that whatever's watching us would be more upset that we beheaded it than scalped it? Or are you just worried about the time that it would take to properly scalp? Time. I believe okay. it being dead is already enough of a concern. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and he... I what uh, happened to your friend over here? Not my friend. I don't... I don't coven with hags. I don't know. You seemed pretty chummy with her earlier. That's all I had to say. So were you. No, I didn't he, trust this bitch for a minute. He's going to take his longsword and cut its head off. 
Um, and then this is where the gory part comes in, because guess what? He's kind of gory because he's a monster hunter. He has this kind of hook on his belt that he just kind of sticks it on. <laughs> just kind of head hook. Uh, it's like, yeah, basically it's on his side. Um, Comes in handy every now and again. Well, that and he uses it for like if he has to drag big monster parts, he has this kind of handled. Imagine a like a handle with this large hook. I don't know, like a pirate hook almost, but big. Yeah, maybe with like or, a like a T shape on wood, but it also has like a little leather like uh, a strap hook. you can attach to your belt. Yeah, like a meat hook almost. Yeah. Huh. Um, I'm actually thinking more of there's. I'll look it up, but it's called like a baler hook. Um. So he'll, he'll get that, um, take her head, he'll, he'll do kind of a cautious look around, and then he'll gesture to Aya, like, come on, I need to move. Uh, before heading back to the group. Bef um, before... I, will start, I will start scalping the red caps when I get back to camp, though. Okay. okay. You don't want to just collect their hats? No, because how do they know that I killed them if I, I could have just stole their hats? So true. Okay. What are you, the greatest thief in the world? Yeah, that's some other character. <laughs> before, I would imagine. Before heading, like, following But Vendor, you don't know him, personally. I just want no, to see real never quick been in if, the like, same room. if she has a, um, like, a spell... Damn it. Give me one second. That was the picture of the thing I was talking about. Oh, that okay. is... Yeah, exactly what I imagined with the T... The T shape, the, like handle sorry um, Aya. no you're good but Bef before following vendrick back i want to check her for a a spell focus of any kind um and if i find anything or if i don't i want to take um i want to take the uh the silver uh, my my shears that i have mm -hmm. and cut a piece of her clothing and Put it off to the side, and then I plan on taking um, both index fingers. Okay. Well, uh, you go ahead and roll survival. Okay. And then also investigation. Okay. Both ten. Okay. Yeah. So the investigation, you don't find a spell focus. Um. Man, I will say, what are you trying to get with the survival? Because that's a, a, a mediocre roll. You're trying to get the fingers and then also the hair? Well, I mean, if if he took the scalp, I, or not the scalp, if the head, then there's no hair. I, okay. No, I was, take, I was taking physically a piece of her clothing. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, you, you could get her clothing. You can get a piece of her clothing. I more want, I more want the finger bones, but like I just wanted that like the, the the index fingers are like important. Yeah, you get a piece of her clothing. I would say that you kind of flub it up with the fingers, but you get one. Okay. You get a knuckle bone. Like up to the knuckle bone. Yes. You, I, okay. Yeah. You get you get what one of what you want. Okay. Well, and then and then that'll be me, and then I will make my way back. All right. Cleaning my hands on the river real quick. <laughs> what? What do you all do? <laughs> I'm scalping. Okay, <laughs> just quick as you just, can. Just go through and scalp them all. Yeah, I'm gonna scalp. Do it now. Can we scalp? Do we get? Can we scalp both the heads of these dogs? Dang. You know, I think you just have to get a tail because that's how it is in uh, <laughs> Louisiana when you're hunting uh, uh, river rats. Oh, oh do they oh. have kind of river rats? Well, they I think have um, nutria. Nutria. Where and they are? Uh, let me let me pull one up. They used to pay you three dollars a tail. Oh hell yeah! So we need to retreat, Nutri right? Nutrients. Nutrient. We we don't really have time to stay here scalping oh, things, right? I, you know, uh, well, it's, it it's uh, you know, it's basically middle of the night. We still uh, have to rest. 
Yeah, but we have a bunch of things watching us. Gorfadil's yeah, already watch 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 for. These red yes. Gorfadil's already back in his tree. Yep. <laughs> okay. Gorfadil, do you take anything to help you sleep? No. Okay. Right. Who's on right, watch well, then? Let's see what everyone else is doing, uh, and then we'll we'll see what's going on. You guys say you were thinking of trying to rest and put up a watch? Um, but we had an I established think, watch order. We had an I, established I think we watch order. Definitely, uh, uh, Dragul definitely thinks we should move forward. But um, Tootsie's going to come up and land in kind of a heap at Dragul's feet. Like, I just feel really bad, boss. If, if, um, if whatever's watching us doesn't, like, attack us, like, Horus is in, uh, like, money mode, right? So he's scalping, but if I get finished scalping, I will go back to bed, but that's, you know, we'll see what happens, apparently. Okay, so I, I saw the glint of the eye. Do I know how high off the ground that was? Hmm. I would say roughly uh, three feet off the ground. Can Vendrick uh, make some sort of check? Oh, he won't. He's, he's gone. He's gone. That's a no. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that's when uh, Skrgeblin comes out. And he says, you did it. You completed the... Okay, he's back. Sorry, yeah, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea what's going on. Um, Skrgeblin just came out. <laughs> you, so last thing I heard was Kenvendrick, and then oh, yeah. that was it. <laughs> I was... I DM'd while you were gone. Okay. Uh, no, uh, Kenvendrick makes some sort of check uh, to try and into it what these things are are trying to do like basically do they have ill intent or is that like kind of just what we already gleaned uh are you taught which things the the things in the, the forest things or the things that are us. dead on the ground no the things oh. stalking us oh well well they are stalking another, us uh, you're certainly being stalked yeah. uh make another perception check Okay, you don't, you don't actually see any. Well, dude, they're like, maybe like three feet ish tall. And I mean, like, how tall were these dudes in the red hats? About the same. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's their friends or whatever, dude, or like cousins or something. True. We can't go running around in the dark. And if, or to, if we are to take on a Chimera, we should be at our best strength. Speaking of which, is anyone poisoned or hurt? I'm pretty hurt. I feel like real bad garbage. But then Dragul just puts his hand on Tootsie's head. And says, just... Take a breath, Tootsie. And then Tootsie, it's gonna look... I, I imagine it, uh, it looks like Tootsie's respawning. Like, Tootsie disappears yeah. in, a, yeah. in a transparent glow, but then a, a, a glow, like, right on the ground shows up, and she just raises out of it again. Oh. And she, <laughs> she looks absolutely perfectly fine. And curls up around Dragul's legs and she's no longer she's just a new tootsie alright flat if we out camp here, we should all camp close together uh, I imagine everyone's and then he turns and sees Dwarfadil up in a tree Dwarfadil's just passed out what, yeah, what if we just all get in the trees together dude 
Like, not being on the ground seems safe if they're short little three-foot-high dudes. Arrows. We'll, we'll camp by the tree, and then uh, I'll keep watch. I'll, keep I'll watch. sleep on my rhino. <laughs> Jacob's going to use his last two paladin spell slots to cure wounds himself, and then... Uh, Chug some of the Voight Vineyard's wine and see if anybody else wants a swig or something. Don't we heal from a long rest after the bite's over? Yeah, but I don't know that, that we we're guaranteed to not get attacked again in the middle of the night. Yeah, we, we could just be ambushed again by the things in the trees. Uh, Dragul is going to come over here. If we're going to stay, he's going to come over here and camouflage himself in Tootsie. You like predator cover yourself in mud. Yep. Just in yeah, we're we're in the uh in the bank. Just cover, covered in gunk. Alright. So I, I'm hearing that everybody's about, you know, gonna try to sleep it off. And yeah. oh, I, I was gonna go around actually healing people because if we're gonna take a rest, I don't like I have spell slots. Yeah, we That's I would highly idea. Yeah, to, okay, then then uh, continue on. Are we taking a rest, or are we moving on, y'all? I'm just going to move these bodies out of the way. I think we're taking a rest. It's the, it's the middle rest. of the night, so it's... Uh, I think we're, we're probably going to take a rest. Right? Vendor's we'll pile these thing is up. that we should probably rest close together, because he's going to set up an alarm. Yeah, he's going to kick right. Jake in the head when he sees something. Yeah, let's yeah. spoon. <laughs> let's spoon, guys. Let's spoon. All, All right. right. I'll be the I'll be the little spoon. Who who is all hurt? I am at half health now that I've cure wounds myself for sixteen. Okay. I'm gonna use a little bit of my my lay on hands to top myself off, so I'll be at full. Because if we're taking a long rest, it's all good. What about um, Dwarfidel? I just realized we're all talking about this whole. He's in the tree, and like already asleep. To be safe thing, and then I turn and I see Ool's token. Like he's just looking at us, <laughs> judgingly. <laughs> I didn't catch that data. I'm sorry. Oh he's no, he's in a tree. He's in a tree asleep. So, but he looks fucked up. Okay. There's like well, a trail I, of I blood. Well, I can choose. I can choose a creature. So, like, I can just choose you. Um, I'm going to use Aura of Vitality. So. It's 10 rounds. Um, everybody gets a 2d6 every 10 rounds. I mean, every round. Um, but I have to, like, pick who does it. There's 10 There's ten 2d6 slots to choose from. If I need to cast it again, I will. Mm -hmm. It's a good spell. Well, if I can get a couple of those, that'll probably put me pretty close to full. Okay. Like, I don't know, like, three, so, three maybe? Okay, so there's seven left. I need, I'm at 47 out of 102. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast it twice, and I'm just going to, um, uh, I'm going to roll, uh, 40 d6. <laughs> Wait, right, it was, yeah. Just, just everybody top off at that point. Well, at that point, yeah. Like, if, if anybody, like, if we want to do, like, the, so that's three of them, so that's 23. And 20. Jake, do you need any more? Uh, yeah, I could use some more. All right, take another two. Sure. Or two slots. So, 46. And that is... I, I can't do math. 7, 82. 82 of 96, that's pretty good. Okay, Vendrick, roll I'm 2d... Yeah, okay. I'll just, I just... Yeah, I just... at uh, 82 of 102. Okay, so well, I'll I like I said, I'll cast it twice. Everybody who needs to can top off. Okay. The rest, that, that the, the rest that doesn't get used goes to Dorfadil. So... I'll do, I'll do two more just to top off. Well, perfect. I'm at 94 of 96. Couldn't be happier. Okay. Vendrick, are you good? Uh, hold on. What was it? A little bit. I like the rest of it. It's fine. Uh, 
I could use two more. Okay, so 2d6 or 4d6? There. Okay. That actually tops me exactly. Okay, so Dwarf Adil, you're going to get 27. And then... It's going to be... Let's see, that was two, that was four, that was... Six, seven, and there's, there's another one. Okay. So, Dorfadil, you get 49. Well. Right on. Okay. Is anybody else hurt? I think everybody else is good. Dorfadil, I'm going to say since you went to sleep immediately, you, uh, you get the benefits of a short rest right now. Um, same well. with... Same with uh, you over here, Dragul. Uh, Dragul, are... Dragul is not sleeping. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, Dragul okay. is... At, he had already endeavored to stay up through the night when he was in the trees watching for the ambush that totally happened. Okay. And so he is, again, camouflaged with Tootsie in the bank of the river, covered in, in, in mud... Uh, keeping a watch out. Okay. Then what you do is you hear uh, a shuffling up in the, the, the northern trees and you hear a something. You can't tell what language it is, but it's a little bit of a shout. And uh, a volley of stones gets thrown at you guys. Uh, I'm going to say it's at, dis it's at disadvantage. Um, uh -huh. Would it be for me because I am? Hang on, I realized just now I was muted this whole fucking time. Oh. <laughs> uh, I had to roll a perception up for a because I was also standing up. Too. Okay, well you all hear it, yeah. and uh, you know the stones come from the bushes of the north, and I'm gonna just roll some. Uh, let's see, there's a uh, slash roll one. Let's see, counting the rhino: one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, two, uh, Jacob Kane. I'm going to say you're number two. All right. Uh, a, a series of uh, a series of stones come flying in. Uh, certainly a disadvantage, but it uh, at, at the very least plops around you. Um, let's see. They shout in Sylvan. Yeah, they do. Okay. What did they say? Yeah, cool. Thing. Fire! Yeah, okay. There we go. All right. Well, the anything twenty and above hits, so two of them hit. Okay. Well, it's at disadvantage, so only the oh. one is going to hit you. Okay. It's so cool. far away. But uh, you know, you take six bludgeoning, and you're like, oh fuck. And uh, and I'm awake. <laughs> you're certainly awake. Why'd you do that, Vin? Why'd you do that, Vendrick? Oh wait, shit. I'm gonna sit up. Hendrix just point the direction. Um, does Dragul, who's been up and waiting, does he? Can he see where it came from? Yeah, you see where it came from. Can At he, least the direction. Uh, he peers into it. Does he see any? Uh, figures. Roll a perception with disadvantage. Because he still has uh, dark vision on. Yeah, I think you are some. You while. are, uh, you know, likely ninety to hundred feet away from them. Mm -hmm. uh, perception at disadvantage, twenty-seven. Yeah, you see, uh, you you don't see them exactly, but uh, you certainly know that they're they're red caps and they're in the forest and they're lobbing stones at you guys. He'll take a shot with his longbow from stealth. All right, go ahead. Just so uh, is lobbing at... it at their direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, go well, ahead. Well, at at any target I can see. Uh, longbow does have a max range of six hundred feet. So. Yeah, roll it at disadvantage. Uh, from stealth. So is that a regular? I'm going to just say this is a disadvantage because this is just, uh, you know, you are you are stealth, but you're just shooting it in their direction. I wouldn't say that you're really targeting somebody. And 18. 
You hear a little yelp. Ow! You can roll damage if you want. Yeah. You hear, a, you, you hear a you hear a yelp. Uh does he see do they seem to disperse? Yeah, they uh you know, they're not uh yeah. They're not there anymore. Uh, there you can hear shuffling and stuff around. And uh, if you want to roll a perception again again. This is just as time passes. Um, you hear movement in the woods. It's around you. Um, it's not exactly... Uh, it's, it's again. You know there's creatures in the woods around you. They're not coming out to directly attack you. But uh, you, can hear, you can hear movement. All right. Dragul will, will camouflage himself in this tree and wait out the rest of the night. Are the rest of you going to try to sleep again? Vendrick is going to uh, get up and uh, you, know, you all rest. And he's going to walk over here. And while he's going to use mold earth, um, and he's going to use the part of basically excavating and laying dirt down uh, to basically build a a sort of like wall more or less here okay is this all flat I, I've, I've been a bit confused on the map yeah it's basically it's basically flat obviously you can see a little bit of a okay. cliff side right here that He's uh, but, take you know, your backs are to the trees and you're taking time to kind of excavate and, and move dirt um, to sort of build a little perimeter for them. OK, to help protect them from rocks and things in the night. OK, Ool, are you um, just chilling out in the open? Are you flying or what are you trying uh, to do? No, he's been sitting there. Uh, his head's just been rotating because he has, he's an owl, so he can rotate his head. Just keep it out right in the open. Okay. Um, he has night vision up to like 120 feet, just as is, so. Okay. Well, I'm going to say that, uh, you know, another volley is going to come at you. I'm only going to throw two. Uh, obviously at disadvantage. Um, uh, at me? At you, yes. Yeah, that then, 19 uh, will hit. Okay. Only four. Yeah, he's going to go full American and just start blasting. Just um, shooting off into the... <laughs> the direction where it came just repeatedly for like a solid okay. minute. I need you to... All right, roll. Uh, roll all of those damages. Uh, So what? Uh, it's how many rounds in a minute? I think just roll eight of them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The gang over here is wide awake. They hear blast, blast, blast. Just uh, a tree then, blasts well, to pieces and falls over. With the crusher feet and then the bludgeoning, yeah. Rocks are going everywhere. The whole northern side of this like area is uh, basically obliterated. Uh, we'll sit back down and pull out a sandwich and just say, try that shit again. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. Well, after we'll blast that away, the night, the rest of the night seems to pass uneventfully. Yeah, right. You always got to go full American. The sun oh, comes oh. up. And, uh, you know, I would say that each of the people in this uh, cove in this uh, cove right here get the benefits of a short rest. But not a long one. Oh, hang on. Well, if that's the case, let me do some, let me do some math real quick. The uh, 
the rhinoceros wakes up bleary eyed. <laughs> you can tell he did. Brr. You can tell he didn't get a good night's sleep. Half my proficiency Brr. bonus, which is two. Okay, so I would get. Sweet. I get that back. Don't get that one. Don't get that one. And. Oh. All right. Divinity again. Nice. Awesome. All right. Um, let's see. Aya, you have the ability to track creatures when they're in a within a certain distance of you, correct? Uh, yeah, but that's a um, that is locate creature. So yeah, that actually would have. Did to you cast, cast that? that? Oh, it wasn't. Is that just a constantly? You know, a constant thing you have, or is it just when it, you it, use it's it? It's a it's an hour long concentration spell. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. Uh, Dragul is gonna climb out of the tree as the sun rises, and he sees everybody kind of waking up. Um, I guess he's gonna roll a con save for staying up all night. I think it's a DC ten. And what is this for? For sleep deprivation. Okay. Uh, it's after 24 hours without a long rest, you make a DC 10 concentration, concentration roll, and it increases gotcha. by 5 for every additional 24 hours without sleep. I see. Uh, for a level of exhaustion. Have we gone a full 24? Uh, since the last morning, he's been up. Oh, okay. So... Oh, Luckily, you, didn't go to, he, you didn't go to sleep at all last night. Not at all. He stayed up watching everybody. Thanks for thanks for keeping us safe, buddy. No thanks to Vendrick. <laughs> Does look a little bleary eyed, but he is fine. He moves back to the party. Looks up at Wool. How does how does it Wool look? Wool's eating bacon. Eating bacon. Where did you even find that? I keep stuff in my lantern. It's red cap. I feel like, I feel like he's wearing a red cap also. Like we're like, wait. Uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, part of it's, uh, it's his forest bl green again. Uh, blasting. The intimidation was him picking up on the red cap hats afterwards and putting it on his head. Yeah. As a sign of dominance. <laughs> After blasting that forest path. Dragul is gonna come up to the uh, the barricade the earthen barricade works and uh, kind of lean over it. Is it time to hunt more monsters? I believe so. Need a nap. Best I we get out and deal with it sooner rather than later. I could do this all day. Good. It might take all day. Oh. <laughs> I, I have to say that sounded cooler in my head. I, I bet it I, did. I'm not well aware as to how you are able to trek as far. I don't know how I managed to do it when I was younger. I've been up for five minutes and I'm already tired. Life is for the young. <laughs> and he pats <laughs> Aya on the shoulder and just walks by. You do realize I have three younger than me. <laughs> Dragul is going to come over here to this tree and pull off some of its bark and hand it to Aya. Chew on this. It'll keep you sharp. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a nature check to see like what kind of bark it is. God damn, it is really? birch. It is it is entirely it's role birch. playing bark. <laughs> it's it's you papery. Know, you know, honestly, it's not the worst thing I've had. Oh, can I try some? My, 
the Absolutely. trees over there. Uh, Dragul will look around the shore. He's oh. going to step into the, the river here and look at both sides of the shore, and he's going to check for any tracks that he might see. As you step into the river, a herd of horses made out of water. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> you see boot prints in the mud, of course. Uh, they're leading down to the southwest. All right. Just boot prints, nothing, nothing larger? No, not right now. I fear where there's a hag, there's a coven. Safe to say. Perhaps. Well, in my experience, that's typically how they go. They were not here, though. The tracks, the boot prints, lead to the southwest. Where was the direction of the large tree? It was in the southwest. Thank you, Aya. Who knew that <laughs> information? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sorry. I had a bit of a frog in my throat from the bark. <coughs> it's all right. Yeah, he makes everybody eat that, you know. That's unfortunate. Okay? Now, I, I kind of wonder, is that, a, is that a thing from the Imogen? Or is that, like, just a Dragul joke? It is not a joke. It is a joke. I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I've, I've, I've come across some other enclaves that have had some weird traditions with a Jew and Bark. Like, it's not the weirdest thing I've heard. Do you feel Look at us. awake? She's talking about how people are need of an awkward. Just well, rude. Do you feel more awake? Well, I have wood in my teeth, so yes. Then it worked. And you're going to move into the forest. You can he's put a rock in your boot and it does the same thing. He's, he's going to start following the tracks to the your southwest. Your wheel's running off. I like that. Uh, he is actually going to uh, attempt to move stealthily through the forest as he screams for the party. Okay. Uh, Jacob Kane will pop the cork off of his bottle of wine, take a swig, recork it. Say, all right, dudes, time to carry on. Breakfast of champions. Start slowly following I after Drew. <laughs> I have an idea yeah. that might be helpful. What's that? What, like drink more wine? Cause that would probably be helpful, yeah. dude. Can no. do. <laughs> we could walk on the river. And? They wouldn't expect it. Walk near the river or on the river? On the river. I'm just gonna fly. Like, as it all flies up in the sky. What direction does the river go, dude? Does it even go it's where going we're going? Down. It's obviously going south. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, but does it go west? I don't. I haven't seen the river. But most water sources, they t typically a big giant tree is going to be, you know, drinking water from a water source. This is a water source in a forest where it's at. Unless it's magical. That's true. But our lizard's heading out, dude. Venerix can put his his hand on Aya's shoulder and be like. Sometimes I have the most uh, appropriate path is the most direct. Oh, that's fine. Do you know what else finds its way into streams and water? Every manner of creature that we find in the wood. So, I recommend the straight path. He just sort of <laughs> struts by. <laughs> I mean, I could honestly just follow the river and then see the Chimera just drinking water. Okay. All right. I'll just take the straight path, see what happens. So Dragul is going to, 
again, he's moving in stealth, so he is, so he is moving at half speed. But uh, he is not burdened by bad terrain. So I don't know how fast he can move in front of them, but he's going to be moving as fast as he can. As stealthily as he can with that crit. Okay. Um, a good ways in front of them, following uh, the boot prints to the southwest. All right. Are you able to be... Let's see. So you're certainly ahead of the, the party scouting. Mm -hmm. um, are you able to be totally alert while you're traveling fully stealthy at high speed? I mean, I guess you are a ranger, so I assume the answer is yes. I am a ranger. My passive perception is 20. Okay. So in, unless you roll a stealth beyond 20, uh, because I don't have alert. Totally understand. Uh, and um, I mean, I am alert, but that's only from my passive wisdom perception being 20. Okay. So I want you to make a perception check anyways. All right. A 21. All right. So you guys are traveling along the path following the, uh, the prince. Um, it's actually pretty easy to follow. The prince are getting, uh, well, I mean, you know, there's, uh, there's, there's several of them and they're big iron boots. So they're not exactly stealthy. Um, they're all, they all seem to be going in the same direction, but you notice actually a few very deep paw prints of, uh, looks like a big cat's claws. Looks like a big cat's claws. Like a big um, cat landed. And uh, you can see that. And there's a bunch of boot prints running around and maybe some drag marks. Um, but that's it. You only see four paw prints on the ground. All right. Um, <clears throat> so seeing this... Uh, Dragul, I don't think has ever seen a Chimera before. I don't think he really knows what it is. So he's going to slink back to the party as they approach and pop out of the bushes. Vendrick is not scared. He's, he's always alert. Yes. <laughs> we'll just circling above in the air, above the trees. Ah, well, you see a gigantic that. tree in the distance. Cool. I have one, no idea what's the significance of that tree. One considerably larger than all of the rest around it. Okay. Are we supposed to be Gubby going towards that tree? We believe the Chimera is at that tree. Bull does not remember. So Bull's Bull just going to say anything. He's just going to keep circling up in the air. <laughs> that is, there are tracks ahead. Of a I'm large guessed. creature. Large creature. Feline. Unfamiliar to me. Definitely sounds like what we're looking for. Aya. As I'm gonna... It, it, I, like, Aya's not gonna really, like... She's immediately focusing as, like, her hair is gonna start to glow and she's starting to mutter a little bit in Sylvan. As, Follow. um... As like she's focusing on what she did yesterday, the Chimera. So Vin she she's gonna just follow behind Vendrick. Vendrick's gonna go look at the tracks. All right. Through. Is it daytime? It is. Okay. You wake up, huh? Huh? And notice that <laughs> the party was about to leave you. Guys, you're in the tree. Hey man, why are you guys leaving me? Quiet. <laughs> He says to be quiet. <laughs> you bled out up in the tree. Torpedo looks day. perfectly, perfectly fine. So uh, healthy. One he one does. Day. I did heal. I did heal him a bunch, and then he healed himself. Do we? Do we reach the tracks unimpeded? You do. Uh, hmm. Do I need to reroll stealth, or can I retain that crit? Uh, you popped out. I would hmm. say reroll it. Oh, good point. In fact, actually, I won't 
uh, do it because he's not uh, screening anymore since he's leading them to it. So he's yeah. Okay. He'll remain unstealth for now as we reach the tracks. All right. You Here guys arrive to the tracks unimpeded. Uh, Vendrick, you come and you see that these these claws are about you know bigger bigger than a dinner plate. Honestly, they're huge. Mm. That seems on brand with what we're looking for. And he kind of okay. gets up, you know, gets down on his knees, uh, and starts examining the track. Oh, what were you gonna say, Bill? No, oh, have you? Are they familiar to you? We'll find out. He kind of puts his head down. He's like examining different angles of it. Um, I, you know, can I make a check? Determine yeah. if this is kind of what we're looking for? Yeah, go ahead. I do a right. nature. Or I'm is it survival? To... Uh, Probably nature. I think this would be s survival just because it's tracks, right? Well, no, right. so survival is for, like, following tracks. Right? Okay, okay. I, nature is for actually knowing what the tracks are. You're a pretty cool. accomplished you... monster hunter, though, right? So I would say yeah. roll it with advantage. You right. figure I'm gonna him give out, my... and Dragul will follow him. <laughs> I, I'm going to blow this out of the water, actually. I'm going to spend <laughs> one of my knowledge of the past, or knowledge from Ooh. past life. While, while you're doing that, Dorfdell just looks at you. He goes, Hey man, I'm pretty sure that's an owl bear. Could be. Not going to throw it all out. Why would Maybe. you well actually him? Why Did would you, you really um that? actually? <laughs> oh um, damn. Actually... That's a twenty-eight. Cause I'm I'm putting guidance and the knowledge of a past life in it. Nice. Alright, well, you definitely know that this is the this is your quarry this is what you've been hunting weight's good fairly large mature uh, he kind of like rubs his finger in it uh looks like oh claws are all there is it missing any toes um with that check, can I look around? I'm assuming there'll be... Uh, and I'm going to look for any other telltale signs of other parts of the Chimera. Huh. Right? Because I know yeah. Chimeras, generally with this, this sort of lion look, they either have like a goat thing or a, a snake thing or something similar or, or some other animal. Um, and I just want to look around, like, are there leaves chewed up where this these tracks are, like, above where this thing would have been walking? Or is there, like, a, something trailing behind it, like a slithering tail? So you look around. It's uh, a little bit odd that you only see these four tracks just here in the middle of the path. Mm -hmm. um, you see, obviously, boot prints running amok all over the place. And yeah. you look up into the air with that uh, 28, and you see some broken branches directly above. It can fly. Must be a winged type. Interesting. I'll have to that keep that in mind. That means Ool should get out of the sky. <laughs> Ool needs to be careful. A bird a has to duck fly. Up there. He looks up. I imagine I see Ool through the, the canopy. Yeah. Ool's flying I'll give around. Ool a little, I'll give Ool a little wave. Uh... He's being awfully friendly as Ool just... <laughs> Really waves back as he's flapping his wings, still just circling. Vendrick, Vendrick is waving, and he does say to the party as he's waving at at Wool, and and Wool is responding. Well, if it goes after Wool, we'll know exactly where it is. Oh, good point. Until then, Wool checks and, up his uh, breakfast. 
Dragul <laughs> will attempt to follow the tracks, either on the ground or like through following the broken branches through the treetops. Making a uh, making an insight check on on this thing real quick. Does it look like the what I assume is the red caps footprints? Yes. Um, with this thing, do they look like they were in a scuffle with it, or does it look like they were going with it? It's pretty hard to tell. Uh, certainly, whatever happened caused a really big commotion. Okay. I think they got eight. Well, seems like a hungry thing. Probably I head back see. to his den. I don't no. see any blood. Well, it could be a few things. It, perhaps it's a druid who can turn into one. Perhaps it's a mother and claimed food for its nest. Oh, and I, I assume there's no blood, right? Uh, do a, do a perception check. All right. Oh. You don't see any blood. I don't see it. Give me ten so. minutes. I could probably try to see whether or not it's a female. <laughs> I could explain its anger problem. If it did eat them whole. They oh. aren't particularly big. That is prejudiced. No. Yes, Yasni would approve. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> It's a nature thing. If, 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 it, if it's alive and it didn't eat it, then perhaps it brought it back to its young. Ooh, what are you oh, searching we can, for? We can scalp its young as well. Is there like uh, any any like looking at the trees? Do I see anything? Is there any like trees moving? Anything like that? Like indicating something big or something like that? No, you don't see anything like that. Um, cool. I, Isn't it know, a nice day? It is a nice day, actually. Clouds. It's nice and nice, good sunny morning. Oh, okay. Any clouds? Um, like a storm on the coming up or anything? No, like I'd say there's no clouds. Oh, cool, uh, cool, of cool. course, there's a little bit of foresty fog, but mm. it's in a it's in a nice way. Oh, you know, okay. Like in a like a oh, in like snow a white, Ross, like a Bob Ross fo fog coming in in the mount, like forest type of deal. Yeah. If yeah. you weren't ambushed by a hag and some horrible little forest creatures the night before this would almost be uh quaint oh yeah nice okay cool uh and you, you rest cool easy knowing that your ability to blast the forest to pieces uh <laughs> is just I innate innate to your this. abilities i am the master of this forest you make you just... a finger guns with your wing fingers and uh blow you know, on for, the tip for a little uh because he's he has that jubilation he will let off a blast <laughs> okay. Stop the next di Which forest. direction? Uh, you know, we're going um south, so he'll launch lava blast to the south, and it goes about three hundred feet. All right, so the big the tree. You're just shooting it towards the big tree, then. Okay. Yeah, the big tree looks nice, so he'll shoot it towards the big tree. You but take like, the... He wants to hit the ground, though, so he ungl. Yeah, yeah. It it sort of arcs like a you know, I guess like a howitzer would. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, some artillery. It blows apart a uh, a canopy of a tree. It, it, it falls short of the big one, of course. But yeah, yeah. stop that, you fool! Are we actually within a thousand it. feet of the big I tree? I saw something. No, not yet. Okay. Not. Not anymore. But I it's guess you guys point. are, uh, you know, blasting your way. Um, are yeah, you, cool. Is the I rest of the party trying to be stealthy? Dragul's yes. gonna try and and uh, uh, track the, the prince of. <laughs> okay, hold on. I will say we the rest of the part. Dragul can be stealthy. We have a rhino, <laughs> so I don't think we can be that ridiculous. <laughs> so so which one is really being more noisy? The owl that shot one blast, or the rhino, <laughs> or the fucking rhino? You know, I would say, uh, Brad, go ahead and roll stealth on your rhino. Yeah, rhinos can sneak up on people. I have. I will say you got to do it at disadvantage though, because I. Oh, well, hang on. Hippos sneak up on people. 
I, I will sweeter. say too, you I are a lone too. giant bird in the sky. I am human size. Uh, how does a Ooh, one giant do? bird <laughs> in the sky? <laughs> I would say that uh, not only can your steps be heard quite a ways away, they can also be felt. Well, yeah. it probably has to push out some trees because it's too big for like the tree line. Now, so, I will like, say that I are getting torn it apart. Is, it is tiptoeing though. <laughs> Tiptoe <laughs> through the meadow. Well, that's the problem. Is Horace keeps humming. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that is... that's why Dragul is so stealthy up front. Because if yeah. anything was paying attention, it would look just right at the right. <laughs> just sneak right back. <laughs> right, because they wouldn't like. What's that big noise? They're expecting something big, not Dragul sneaking by. Uh, yeah. DM. Yes. Do the tracks seem to be? going towards the tree and in the general direction of also the red caps footprints they do okay so yeah so i guess uh what i'm wondering right going. now oh go ahead uh, you're no, gonna keep you going yeah. so you're gonna keep going if i heard that correctly um, yes what is the order of this travel uh yeah, dracul will go again that's not a bad idea. What do you guys think? Initiative? You, I what would you say you don't yeah. need an initiative right now. All right. Yeah. Uh, Just generally. So Dragul will go forth first in screen, uh, tr like following the tracks uh, very closely uh, from a stealth of 24. Okay. So Tootsie and he will be creeping ahead, following the tracks, um, in case we run into anything nasty ahead of us, ahead of the big part, ahead of the big stompy rhino. Sure. Who's, uh, who's and, following and up and how close are they to Dragul? Crazy I think bird. whatever is happening, I think the rhino should be in back. Cause I don't want to have to smell its farts while we're marching or at the very least, I want to be at least right in front of the rhino, if not further up. Okay. I want to be somewhere in the middle because I'm concentrating on a spell. Okay. I'm a little bit behind Dragul in the front, but of course I'm like 30 feet above the canopy, so. Vendrick will be in the front of the party behind Dragul. All right. Okay. So we'll say that you're walking along. The, uh, the boot prints are certainly, you know, getting... This path is actually becoming more well-traveled as you guys are moving towards the big tree. Mm -hmm. Um... Um, Vendrick, you see some older tracks. Uh, they are the same as the previous, you know, that you saw previously, but mm -hmm. they are um, still uh, older than what you saw. And mm -hmm. I'll say that as you guys are moving along, suddenly, Aya, the hair on the back of your neck stands up and like an electric sensation goes through you and you know immediately there's a chimera within a thousand yards and Ool, you can see that the party is getting closer and closer to this big tree because uh, you're what? above the canopy Ool will start flying faster towards the big tree what direction is oh. it in? I move a little bit up uh, higher though so he'll move up like Sixty feet above the tree line. Okay, this well, path has, is sort of curved down from. She the make it ninety because he has three hundred feet range with Eldritch Blast. Like make it ninety. Okay, this uh, path is sort of curved down from the southwest, and you've sort of um, taken a, a long way. It hasn't been straight towards the big tree. Um, the uh, the big tree is now uh, towards the north. Of you guys okay uh, yep. now let me know how close you guys are gonna are trying to get well i know it's exact direction if i'm within a thousand feet of it like i know yes. the direction yeah. it's moving you know exactly the way to get there that's true as and go ahead Aya. sorry no you're good i'm gonna i'm gonna like quietly like move forward and i'm just gonna like 
I have, like have my eyes closed as I'm like envision envisioning like where it is as I'm like gonna pat Vendrick on the arm. I sense it. Hmm? I sense it. I sense it. Where at? It's in this direction. As Nate tell tell us what direction. Due north. It's due north. Is that in the direction of the big tree? Yes, you've taken a long roundabout path following these tracks, but the, the tracks have sort of circled more towards the north. As I'm going to point directly like where I'm feeling it. All right. Uh, he's going to turn to the rest of the party real quick. We're getting closer. Should we come up with a plan? I can't well, imagine you all want to just walk in there. Yeah, we could like charge. Ool is in flying there. straight towards it, right? Are you charging, Ool? Uh he doesn't realize. He's like, uh, he's like a big tree. I'm just gonna go fly towards it. Tell me how close and, you are to this big tree. Well, I don't know. He moves time, at thirty feet. Per, uh, <laughs> per norm, and then he's ninety feet above the canopy level. So I don't know. It's not like he's bum rushing it. He's just moving at normal pace. I imagine you'll eventually pass the the Dragool screen. Yeah, there's no way in but... hell Ul can keep track of Dragool. Like, I'm gonna what? say that I'm gonna say so right now that you won't everybody you won't is know. within 800 yards of this tree. If Ul All is right. dragging is flying straight at it, I'm gonna say. You have oh, yeah, you're maybe right. I, I faster because I'm as the 15 crow seconds to try to get his attention if you're going to do that, or just you know, or just act separately. <laughs> 15 <laughs> seconds because <laughs> he's flying off, he's they flying look, off. Down has started. Ed, can Dragul see the tree from where he is in the brush? Is it like kind of uh, since we're closer to it, is it? You've uh, probably caught over the, you've, the. Go ahead. You've probably caught a glimpse of it, uh, but you're still in the forest beneath the normal tree's canopy. I think Dragul will remain in stealth and not say anything to Ul. Okay. I feel like we need a dr like dramatic music as Ul is dying. Oh yeah, straight put some me. dramatic music on, please. Oh, I've yeah. already got dramatic. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. I'll put. I'll turn on the music just to hear the dramatic music. All right, we need to make a decision quick. Who <laughs> is flying straight towards it? Just. I, I have enough strength to try to geos it if we can find a way to lower its, lower its wisdom or its constitution. Okay, you said we have to make a decision real quick. Yeah. I see yeah, we're going towards it. Is. If it's there, that's bad. Vendrick has an idea. He turns to Horus. <laughs> Horus. What's up, dude? I need you to make a lot of noise with your rhino. All right, you heard him. I'm gonna pat Straight the rhino. I'm gonna pat the rhino on the ass. <laughs> we'll be Giddy right up. behind you. Giddy up, and and I'm gonna go charging through the underbrush. All right, hell yeah. <laughs> have you not Have you not seen that movie? I've never seen that movie, dude. Oh man, I got you gotta that is watch so it. fucking <laughs> nasty. Oh <laughs> my true. god, it's over his chin, dude. It's so <laughs> insane. <laughs> I can't believe you've never seen Ace Ventura. Oh no. Well, that is that is the sequel, to be fair. Yeah, Ace Ventura as, Pet Detective. As the rhino goes by. Yeah, sorry, I'm charging I, through the. I'm charging. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast Long Strider on it. <laughs> on it. Okay. Yes. On the rhino? Yeah. On the rhino. So it has 10 extra feet of movement. All right. Bringing it up to 50 now. Okay. Wait. All right. You straight up Basically, charging. Barreling straight in the direction of the of the werewolves going is basically was the plan, at least from Vendrick's perspective. I don't and know I what will, wants to do. I will. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll also let out a, a whop, a yop. Mighty yop. Mighty yop. Yes. A mighty yop a la Yars in order to increase the volume of yes. my 
of my charge, a war charge. Okay. And so know. you're you're trying to make noise and and uh, and uh, gather attention to yourself instead of yes. at ooh. Yeah, I think that's the plan. That sounded like the pretty plan. sure by by charging through the forest. Okay. All right. All right. And uh, how about the rest of the party? Is the rest of the party also running along? Are you just sending Horus off to his, uh, <laughs> no. well, to whatever's up there? Now, Vendrick's following, following behind. He, <laughs> he is, yeah, obviously, he's letting the rhino clear the path. Uh -huh. Shagul is up yeah, Jake ahead. Will follow. I imagine I... he hears this coming up behind him, right? <laughs> what? what, what? <laughs> He, he he kind of ducks into the bushes. What happens, DM? Uh, well, the rhino barrels right past you. Uh, doesn't bowl you over, thankfully, but uh, that one was close, I have to say. Tootsie's like, oh my gosh. And, uh, you know, exclaims. And then Horus, let's say I'm going to have you and... You and Ool show up at the same time, right in this southern area, the southernmost area. You come into a somewhat of a clearing, and there's a massive tree in oh, front no. of you. So you said southern? Yes. Uh, oh, hopefully God, you guys can see that, right? Are you all yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody else is going to come essentially a turn later. All right, so um, where, where am I? Right here. I don't know if uh, uh, you're getting forced to... This might I see the work. tree. I didn't see the click. I'm going to put my little token It's all the way in the, in the south in the middle. South in the middle. Up if you shift you. click, it'll actually... I am shift clicking, so I'm kind of surprised that it's not forcing everybody to come here. Maybe they got rid of that feature. It's doing I, it for I me. I like that feature. Oh, That's there, great. there it goes. I got, I got dragged just now. Okay, maybe you need a character on the board. To... Are we coming in at the edge of the map, or? Well, I'm just putting my token there until we, uh, until we show up. Now, granted, yeah. I will say Dragul was was ahead more than the rest of us. Yes, Dragul is basically. Well, he's right. <laughs> well, he's right there. Maybe, um, maybe he's here. I'm gonna say he's right here, right over top of Horus. Over top, <laughs> right over top of Horus, right but he's up in the air. So, uh, oh man, you guys arrived. You guys, uh, or you, you mean, Ool. Not sorry, Ool. that's what I meant. Ool. Ool, Ool, Ool. Dragul is with the rest of the party off to the side. Ool, what do you do? Uh, so it's just a big ass tree. You're just nonchalantly heading towards the tree, I assume. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do okay. I see anything as like, a, like a, I don't know, like a giant chimera coming out to like fuck me up? Uh, I would say when you, I would say if you get a little bit closer, say maybe to here, you're just flying uh, towards it nonchalantly. I don't see where you soon. I'm gonna just, uh, oh, you know what? It's because I'm on the GM. Uh, Is that forcing uh, yeah. you guys right there? There we go. There we go. I'll oh, move okay. up there. I'm on the, I'm on the wrong thing. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. Cool. Yeah, you yeah, hear up? an absurdly loud roar. And right... Yeah, am I, like, coming right up on his ass? You're coming right up on his ass. And right here, at the... Like, on one of the branches, you see a gigantic creature. In fact, it should be a little bit bigger than what it is. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just, uh... <clears throat> And just I'm gonna send you guys a photo of this. Guy. Summon that Ooh, demon that now. Escape. We're gonna just go ahead and summon that shit. Just gonna see. go. Just. Uh -huh. I'm trying to find it. Where's my picture? Uh. Here we go. It's a giant, giant creature. It has. Wings of a dragon, uh, a head of a lion, a head of a goat, and also a head of a dragon with uh, claws of a That's dragon. not a chimera that I'm well This in. is uh, 
this is uh, from the the monster manual. <laughs> so big, big, this big. is a it's That's a big a boy, uh, and it's so just we're some two different monster manuals here. <laughs> so this creature's a uh, it roars, and it shakes the whole forest. Um, additionally, you see a hag appear. Oh God! And then another hag, and he's gonna say shout in sylvan to you oh cool i understand it you do yeah and it's gonna so say much. what are you doing in our forest get out we just want to go south and we end up going towards this tree uh i know i just summoned uh this guy he's really nice as he points towards the demon uh it was more a fright thing can we just walk past it and just keep going south you have tread upon our holy grounds. Oh, we've done more than that. Now. We killed one you of your sisters, pay but... the price. Can we go by you? We know what you've done. Oh, and as cool. you, As you... you as she says that, more creatures are going to come out of the woodwork. A couple of... Uh, looks like... Uh, a, Red a, 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 a dog... A dog. Each uh, red cap is going to be holding on to a dog on a little leash. And uh, they say, you killed Grimma. I didn't. You killed Grimma. I didn't and kill then, anyone. This thing, and then I do a, make a perception check around. for me, please. And Horace, I want you to also make a perception check. Hell yeah! Oh, can I make it? A, can I make it a disadvantage? <laughs> no, I would. I would say you should just wait. Why would you do it a disadvantage? <laughs> I don't know. It's just because I feel like Horace doesn't know what the fuck's going on. In no way. <laughs> no, you. Uh, you can. Uh, you could do it. Regular. 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 <laughs> ha, ha, okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you. Uh, you're <laughs> the, like the fucking rhinos. Like just fucking. Bucking yeah. every direction. You've I'm been, spending you, all of my energy trying to like focus on not getting bucked off this rhino. You're trying to keep yeah. it looking straight ahead, and yeah. then you look up and you see the giant, uh, the giant chimera, and you go, "Oh, that's what's making all that noise." Uh, oh. Oh, oh yeah. I do want you to put your demon away right now, oh. but I do, you do notice that this hag right here has a glowing purple eye. Sure. And you also notice that this chimera right here also has a glowing purple eye on sure. its uh, on its uh, ram's head. Sure. So why is the demon going away? Well, because we haven't run initiative yet. Oh. Uh, Sorry. He, well, he, he would have been like, because... Well, jump frights and he summons the demon just immediately because he sees a, a giant a, a jump scare, a jump yeah, scare man. summon. Yeah, uh, no. that's what he was always done. No, we're not even doing Come back yeah. to bite us in the ass. <laughs> summon as a reaction. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I do, I do love this idea of all being like, we're just trying to get by, and then the demon comes out. He's like, grab us a bitch. <laughs> you a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's you notice in the conversation when the demon was out, that's when he was like, oh, yeah, we totally killed your sister. Can we go by? Would you mind uh, just forgiving us for that one? Yeah, we we also scalped her. They, I I didn't do that. No, they see no, it on Horace's not. belt. We, we did not scalp her. We still have her beheaded, I believe. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. And we have not plucked up the eyes yet. Not Horace, yet. I want you and uh, Ool to roll initiative. I'm going to pull up the initiative turn order right here, and I'm going oh, to. Yeah. I'm going to roll some initiative. Oops. Thankfully, the death roll. dogs. I'm going to roll initiative two. Oh, there we go. Oh, my gosh. It's saying you've got to have these guys selected when you do it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's fun. Okay. You guys aren't going to like that. You're going to go, hey, he rolled a two. Yeah. She did roll a two. I, I, he did. You can he edit did. it. He did. I know. <laughs> Pitchforks, everyone! Pitchforks, get his ass! 
little can't do the jump scare Steven summon. Oh! I mean, he's basically gonna. He's he's pretty high up there, except for the chimera. Yeah, I'm not. I'm ninety. I was ninety feet above tree line. I don't know how big the trees were. Death dogs are on there twice. The good thing is I the rock have, uh, can yes. fly. It's safe up. It's so. up there. Well, there's they a only one creature that can fly. It's yeah, and I can. I can. My crusher will affect him, so you'd be pushed back fifteen feet. So if he has. A fly speed of 30 feet. I'm golden. But uh, I don't think that's the case. If he's faster, that's a problem. I'm buffed. If he, if that's a case. Uh, we'll be diving into the ground to meld into stone and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I like that. I love right, the idea gonna... of you doing that and the Chimera just fucking punching through the stone and grabbing you. <laughs> it's the, It would be the Saitama thing where I'm like going through it and all of a sudden the Chimera's right there. Yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, let's see. I think. Well, I think that's initiative. Uh, let's see. How far can this this guy go? Well, we all uh, roll it, or just those third like group. Uh, it's just are, this group for now, right? It's then just we'll... this group for now. Yes. Okay. Um, Basically, when we get back to the Chimera, that would be by the time we probably show up on the map. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's probably the case. Um, let's see. These everybody is. Uh, let's see. These guys are going to move forward. Right about here. Oh my gosh, it's not even their turn. I'm. So, I apologize. Yeah, it's the Chimera. <laughs> it's the Chimera's turn. Chimera is going to. Let's see. He's gonna. He's gonna move. This will right. determine right here how far cool it is. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah. So he's right here. I'm fucked. And, uh, well, he is going to breathe his breath weapon at you. So did the Chimera fly up into the, the air then? He's already up in a branch. Yeah, he okay. was up in the branch. In this the is probably pretty high up. Yeah. Yeah. So where's the breath? Boom. What's the breath? Fire? The fire, and it is a DC 16 dex uh, save. Do I, I think I have Oh, no. That's if I'm bludgeoning. Okay. Um, I'm actually, um, so it's action. Okay, it's action. All right, cool. So it's a deck save, you said. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. That's uh, one of my strongest ones. Oh, shit, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, half of 25, so it's only 12. Oh, yeah. Cool. And uh, that is going to be, let's see, do you roll recharge at the end of your turn? It's at the beginning of the creature's next turn. Yeah. The beginning of his next turn. Okay. Yeah. Horus the Redeemer, you're up. <clears throat> All right, guys. What is Horus? Time, time I'm trying to decide if Horus, if Horus is going hero mode. <laughs> Do I go hero mode? What's your y'all think? Oh, what's what's your oh? What would, what would Yasni do? Yasni would run straight at this thing and. Try to first of all, the rhino is going to try and gore it. It's way up. So in I will the say air. it's way. Oh, it's way up in the air. Yeah. Okay, well, that changes things. Hold on, I was back here because I, if I ran up, then I would just uh, <laughs> be under it. So I don't have a lot of range stuff, guys. All right, I'm kind of a melee <laughs> character. Uh, <laughs> just throw your sword, dude. Throw your throw your sword. Oh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. No, I'm not going to do that. I know what I'm going to do. Is every where is everybody? Is everybody else like pretty far Quite back? Quite a ways behind, but behind you, yeah. Okay, so what can I do for Ool right now? What can I? Uh, can you heal something that's like what? How big are the trees? The normal trees. You know, normal sized trees. So like what, twenty feet up in the air? 
So then he was 90 feet. Yeah, I was 90 feet above tree line, so that's why I was trying to figure out, like, the baseline. So he's probably, like, 110 feet up in the air. Probably. Yeah. I can bless you. Can oh, dear. I know what I'll do. I will give you Shield of Faith. Oh, cool. Thanks. All that. That's actually really helpful. My AC is shit. <laughs> As I point at Ool and I say, be shielded. Be <laughs> shielded. Uh, but that's only a bonus action. So you know what I'll do? You know what I'll really try and do? I'm going to huck a... Uh, I'm going to huck a javelin at this guy. I can do that. Okay. Uh, but, you know, he's he's pretty far away. He's like 30 feet out. I'm going to do it at disadvantage because uh, the range on the javelin is shit. Yeah. But I'm just going to huck it. it. Feels bad. 13. It, it clanks off of a scale. Oh. And uh, it does nothing, unfortunately. Shoo! <laughs> and that's... Shoo. And that's gonna be. That's gonna be it. All right, the dogs Maybe. of war are loosed, and uh, let's see, they're going to. They're gonna run forward. And uh, they're gonna hold any actions. Ooh, it is your turn. Uh, yeah. Ool needs yeah. a friend. Ool will now summon the Brock. Okay. Here. Can you make he that large? Side. Yeah, can yes. you make that large, please? Girdle okay. was a bitch! Uh, is, he, is he flying right now? Yeah. Okay. As I can put him at any spot I can see. Oh, unoccupied space. Andy, can okay. Fly. Yeah, he has better fly than me. He has 60, so uh, yeah. Uh, Will's gonna move over here. Um, and then the rock, I believe, if I remember correctly, the spell takes his turn immediately after me. Okay. Uh, uh no, roll initiative for the demon. Uh, but hit point. Just yeah, let him roll go this you. It's fine. Okay. Um, so then I'll go to his turn and he will do his uh he'll do spore. He'll launch a fifteen foot uh radius cloud on the uh demon of the uh, chimera. Um he has to make a fourteen constitution saving throw or become poisoned. So he needs okay. to make a con save. Oh, nice. That is Let good. it get poisoned. Hopefully. Oh, nice! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> yes, baby. So he's going to take... Sorry, this did not work. I have it, uh... Well, it wouldn't have mattered anyways, because it's a, a three. No, you only yeah. rolled a two, so it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, yeah. so I guess he is poisoned then, correct? Yep. yep. Is, that the, is that the poisoned condition or poison uh, damage? Uh, he says, or oh, become poisoned. While well, poisoned this way, target takes 5d10 poison uh, damage at the start of each of its turn. A target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turn. And he posted. They fa- oh, yeah, it's... Oh, I thought I did. Sorry. Boom, right there. And has okay. recharge 6, so, like, at my next turn, he'll roll 6, so... Yeah, so yeah, he'll take uh, five poison right now. Okay, sounds good. Let's roll or should that. I roll? Or it? you roll that. Yeah, one roll ten. Flash roll. One d. Well, I mean, hey, at least it's poisoned for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. How long is it uh, poisoned for? Uh, it hey. will be poisoned until it uh successfully it passes. Right. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Or and empty he... a vial of holy water on the target. Well, that's not here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, that ends both of us. I mean, I have someone on me, but that's not getting there. All right. Very cool. Uh, red caps are going to. Um, the cloud would have affected the Brock, but he does have damage immunity, condition immunity to poisoned. Okay. 
just the TBLR. I thought I'd to say that too. Yeah, the Vrock's yeah. probably immune to his own stuff. Yeah, probably. No, he he is. I just well, I said like you know earlier, so 15 foot radius. So like he would have been included in that. All right. All of these guys are going to use their slings and sling twice at the Vrock. Is that so, disadvantage? Because he is 110 feet up in the air from yes, the ground sir. itself. Well, can he even reach that then? Probably not. I don't not. think, yeah, say, I don't think yeah, slings, slings go more than 60, it. right? Okay, yeah. then they're not going to do that. And uh, they're, they're going to hold their actions. And uh, let's see. The hags are also going to come forward. Big hags. Probably right about there. And uh, what can they do here? Let's see. So they were 30 feet out from base, but he's 110 feet up there, so that's putting out of range of it. Just barely, basically. Yeah. Okay, Sling's max range is only 120. Okay, so they're not hitting anything. No. Um, and then they, then I guess that means that probably spells can't reach them either. It right? depends on how far the spell goes. Yeah. Like Eldritch yeah, Spear, if, if I was in their position with Azul, I could hit them, but that's only because I have Eldritch Spear at 300 feet. I see. I see. Okay, well, let me read this. Well, All what about, about 120 feet? 120 feet's probably not going to hit either because the, the slings mm. are. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah no. They're just going to hold actions or if anybody gets closer. And then, uh, yeah, so I guess with that, everyone else can put themselves on the initiative board. All right. Yeah, where do we uh, go for showing up on yeah. scene? Yeah, I think we should probably, uh, you know, it's it's almost 11, so I think we should finish it up. Yeah. Uh, Since but... Dragul was scouting forward, do you mind if he gets a little bit of movement, scouting movement up. It makes sense that Dragul's ahead of us. Yeah. I would say that, too. How much do you... Uh, uh, what about if we have extra movement? Need to move forward? Depends on depends on where you want to put yourself. You know, if, he was you, ahead can't, of you, you certainly can't be ahead of Horus, but probably behind Horus anywhere. Tell behind, you what. You know, to the south of Horus, you could be there. If everybody's on the line here, I'll just move Dragul 35 feet up. Yeah, I that imagine we're on move. the line. Yeah. Yeah. If everyone's up, I'll move to Google th uh, 35 uh, foot scouting movement, and then we'll start from there. Yeah, that works. Uh, can Jake be just a little bit ahead of that line since he's got like 15 additional feet of movement compared sure, to standard? No I'll just keep him where he's at there. So I'll put Google here if that's cool with you. Sure. All right. Yeah. Is everybody on the uh, on the board? Uh, I think Dragul has to, and then we'll be good. Dragul's on the board. Oh, is he? Okay, well then. He's well, over here on the, le the left flank. On the On the initiative yeah. board. I see. Did that not work? There we go. 19, hey. Right up there, right up there. Right up there. Tippity top. <laughs> and 19s. I'm just scrolling through. I think everybody's on. All right. Guys, we're going to do this uh, next time next in time. Dreamscape. Next time on Dreamscape. Oh, I can't wait. Next week is going to be so freaking busy. I can't wait till Wednesday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will the party like, be I... able to make it? Make it totally? No. No, no, they won't. <laughs> Just... Will the party be able to slay the Chimera? This now is going to be a tough fight, are... man. I'm, I'm hyped for it, but this is going to be a tough one. I know. It's going to be a I'm... tough one. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I am stoked. That Chimera's... Uh... Are you doing a Dragon Ball Z ending or Dragon Ball ending? Yeah. <laughs> I would have, but I, I got time for it. All right. <laughs>
on that note thanks for watching stay tuned don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and again stay tuned for more colossal chimera uh crusades on the borderlands